Dean, uh, Merry Christmas. I'm sure today's win was pretty high on your list this year. Yeah, definitely. As you said, it was uh, it was the reaction that we that we requested and the got and the look and said um, disappointing what happened down at Sutton, but uh, today give lads credit they uh, put the run right. Yeah, put the wrong to, to right, especially in the first 15 minutes. JJ Hooper with a quick fire double, I guess that's perhaps proven of what you've got with that sort of striker. Yeah, look, we spoke about a bright start then, and it's sort of we didn't get going. And um, we made sure it happened today, and give, as I said, give the lads full credit, they, uh, they, gave, they gave us what we wanted, and I thought we were devastated in the first 15 minutes. After that, give uh, give Charlie a little bit of credit, I mean, to be 2 0 down so quick, they um, tinkered a few things, and uh, they, uh, they have to go and chase the game, so they have to be a bit more brave than they would be if it's 0 0. And look, we weathered the storm to say. Um, obviously, they got a penalty. Rob done his job, and um, the second half kind of panned out a little bit, and we could have made our life a little bit easier for ourselves. We haven't seen too much of Demonte Redmond and JJ Hooper and your size through injury and, and uh, just your selection. Just how pleased were you with their contribution today, especially for those first two goals? Yeah, definitely. As you said, um, look, Devs he's got a cal uh, calibre. He's where he's been and where he's been brought up. He's uh, that. Kind of technique that he'll have, that vision that he'll have. He just needs to be bring it consistently, and he's he's missed out for a few weeks. Been maybe a little bit unfortunate, but I thought up at Halifax and what we used it for, he he played really well. So he's 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 back at the forefront of my thoughts. Give the lad credit. To be fair, he's back locked up in the warm up. Uh, could have been easy for me to not make a sub, but request one early on. And uh, but no, he said he wanted to play. And uh, as I said, uh, give the lad credit. You touched on the penalty, obviously disappointing the second week in a row really to concede in that um, sort of manner, I guess just a bit of lack of discipline there. Yeah, no, look, it's one of those, um, we all know what Chris Holroyd's about, he causes problems today, he picks up little areas, comes short and uh, Chris, he, Chris is good at what he does and uh, he's a great pro and a great lad and uh, as I said he's coming to good little areas, good little pocket and look, some as, as honest as anybody comes and he's obviously seen the opportunity to try and win the ball but look, it's, it's gone against us. But as I said, uh, Rob's done his job and uh, kept, us, kept, kept it out. Yeah, taking on two former Wrexham strikers, you've obviously managed and Chris Holroyd to win the Sanker. I guess he nullified one, but the other. Yeah, look, it, look, it's disappointing. Disappointing um, for us massively. We wanted to keep a clean sheet. There have been three clean sheets out of four games. Um, look, 3 0, could maybe, as I said, a couple of more, uh, a little bit more clinical on the break, but get our credit, uh, keep credit. He's pulled uh, one or two decent saves off himself. Look, we wanted a clean sheet, but look, we did, the most important thing today was getting three points. Well, she brought Amari Patrick on for JJ Hooper. Was there any. Temptation to keep him on for that. Uh, yeah, uh, look, it's not. It's not a bit like the lad had been um, desperate to get the hat trick, and uh, he had a couple of half chances and that. But look, uh, JJ's come back in. He's got himself. Uh, but he's back to where we need him to be, and keep uh, fit JJ Hooper for the rest of the season. will be uh, offers an opportunity. For somebody who's going to get goals. Made a few changes. So I need to look at the minutes. I said um, Devs has been struggling with his back in the warm up and that, and uh, so it was just something that I was mindful of. And uh, knowing full well, we've got to go get him for 48 hours. It's not a bad substitution though when you bring on Amari Patrick, you can come up with the goods like you did. Yeah, he had three good chances himself, so he could be talking about somebody else with Patrick. But look, as I said, it wasn't about um, so much about performance today, it was about the, the fact that we needed reaction and uh, getting three points. But look, we played some decent phases of the football, especially in the first 15 minutes. Game kind of panned out second half and uh, look a bit more clinical, and their keeper pulled one or two saves off. We could have been a different scoreline. At Sides around, side Rounders have uh, obviously come up with their own results today. How important was it to get that win today, keeping up with that? Cause Look, it it's, 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 a, it's a little bit of doom and gloom around the place. We've had two really good wins um, in the league. Um, obviously, then we had the FA, FA Trophy. I made a decision to get lads' minutes and look, two lads that uh, benefit from lads' minutes have, have played today and played a part in us uh, getting a victory. As I said, we can only do look after our own house, and that's something we needed to do. We needed reaction. We got the three points. As I said, just pat the lads on the back in there. But we uh, spent the next 40 hours, 48 hours, massive now. We'll make sure we're prepared to go down to Maidenhead and uh, give the best uh, count to the football club. Yeah, you mentioned it's 48 hours. Good of Christmas, obviously getting those local games down to Maidenhead. Yeah. Um, you know, Maidenhead uh, a side who perhaps done a bit better than some sides would have thought, and uh, always going to be a tough game. Look, the league, it's always a tough, play, a tough place to go. The league is what it is this year. Um, I don't think anybody will be setting records on what they get to get promoted and what ends up in the playoffs and even what goes down. It's very, very tight all throughout the league. We need to build on the back end of what we've achieved today. As I said, we, if we can go and say, right, we've won four out of the last five, it's not a bad little bit of form. We're disappointed what happened at the weekend. It's behind us now. I said we had a meeting with the players after and, and I sent my mind again on Monday on them. They gave me the reaction I wanted today and uh, we have to build on, on today and take that as a positive and we have to go forward. That's not just us. There's a group of players in there and the squad, <clears throat> that's the old football club, it's, look, it's a bit of a doom and gloom, uh, even a little bit flat at times and uh, look, as a football club we need to stop rolling, um, riding a roller coaster and get together and, and, and take this club forward. Cheers, Dean.